guys welcome to the next channel so if you follow my video episodes on uh, freenas and uh, network uh, operating systems i once uh, discussed about an episode of uh, ditching uh, freenas uh, it's done by a freenas user and then i have discussed a few issues with uh, using a, a usb drive uh, as a boot operating system uh, drive unfortunately you know uh, this is something uh, uh, which uh, you will find uh, a mention in the freenas uh, documentation uh, that they do tend to suggest in case if you want to use you can use any usb drive as its uh, uh, regular boot operating system because the amount of read write is going to be highly minimal and uh, it is just uh, enough to just boot the operating system and the drive is just going to contain the configuration of your uh, you know the nas uh, system so other than that it is not going to have any other uh, you know data where in which it puts a load and stuff but here is the thing after uh, you know experiencing myself in the first hand i would like highly recommend you to never ever use any usb drives for the same uh, although freenas mentions it i am not really sure why they you know even recommend something like this because uh, if you dig down deeply the usb drives are meant for occasional use they are not meant for powering up or 247 or something okay so it will get heated up quite quickly if it is uh, something like a home use in my case although i am not uh, powering on my nas all the time uh, still i can see that even an occasional use of couple of hours some of the drives get heated up quite uh, you know significant so the drive uh, hope you must have seen uh, me mentioning that i'm using this uh, kingston drive and it turned out uh, it's not a good uh, drive at all in the first place although it's made with uh, you know metal body what i observed is so this particular model dt50 uh, this one is a 16 gb variant and uh, this type of uh, you know thing you will get it in other uh, capacities as well each time uh, as you change uh, other capacities you know this uh, color plastic colored uh, thing will is going to differ okay some are in purple some are in uh, uh, blue and red and stuff like that and uh, this one is a 16 gb drive and this has this uh, green colored plastic at its back so this drive is notorious it gets uh, heated up quite quickly and uh, you must have seen uh, i got this identical one to put as a mirror boot drive and uh, stuff like that it, it it is the time i discovered that it is taking a lot of time and it's uh, uh, the primary issue for that is the you know usb drive itself so you must have noticed every time uh, you have any usb drive some of the drives uh, when you start copying files after some time uh, initially it starts with uh, you know the usb 3 transfer rates or usb 2 transfer rates uh, but after some time it is going to go down and then it is going to hit, hit some type of saturation point so that happens uh, quite significantly with the, all these usb drives but some are worst versus some are okay to deal with but i found uh, this drive is uh, quite horrible and uh, after some time uh, i did the bulk uh, file transfers and uh, stuff like that and after some time it even tends to get uh, at the range of few kbs per second so it is not acceptable okay so this uh, one what i got the you know identical one i have returned to amazon and uh, Amazon gave me a replacement uh, and uh, again I know that it is an issue with the model itself it's not just one drive or something the model itself has that issue so again I have returned it after testing again the you know replacement one had the same issue quite obvious and then uh, they got uh, the refund uh, uh, you know processed and, and stuff but anyway I, I would like to mention that uh, never ever use any USB drives uh, as a boot operating system uh, although you get sometimes an uh, usb drive when you purchase a server like dell or something sometimes they may provide some you know boot uh, os uh, usb drive or something that there, there is an exception sometimes those drives may be of high quality and it is also done by that uh, you know uh, through that server uh, manufacturer itself so they may choose a specific model uh, which is quite uh, uh, you know um, suitable for these type of applications so who knows actually so never do that never ever use any usb drives nor you use any you know these kind of uh, adapters you know micro sd card or sd card adapters and to use this as a boot drive if you power on your server all the time this is going to get uh, heated up and it is not 
you know going to be safe it may get corrupted and stuff of course you will have the config file uh, backed up you know freena's uh, server config file you can recover restore but unfortunately it is going to uh, you know cause this downtime and then you need to do all this work so in my case so what i have done is i have uh, as you can see here i have uh, taken this out uh, before that i have uh, copied uh, i mean i have taken the backup of this config file and then uh, what i did is i have something like this uh, uh, this one is of course a western digital uh, uh, external drive it's quite old it's just uh, 320 gb or something i had uh, another uh, transcend uh, enclosure and in that uh, i had some western digital uh, uh, hard drive or something so that is something for now i'm using as a uh, boot os since i don't have any sata ports available i'm using an enclosure like this and then i have plugged it to the usb 3 port uh, onto that motherboard adapter so what happens is uh, that way uh, i don't have to deal with any more these type of issues but having said i do have uh, luckily in the motherboard m.2 slot so i highly recommend you to get a proper ssd uh, let it be m.2 form factor or uh, the regular uh, you know sata or whatever but you know ssd is far better never use any you know these uh, cheap usb drives because they don't have that ssd like characteristics although they do use you know flash memory what happens is uh, you don't have that redundant uh, you know uh, features and stuff so that it can scrutinize the data whenever it does that read operation it can do that error checking and stuff here it happens i'm not saying it is not going to happen but it happens in a pretty you know uh, you know in a uh, you know on a basic uh, level basis because its main objective is to use uh, alternate form of uh, you know the old uh, <laughs> floppy drives or cd roms and stuff so it's far better technology what we have uh, i mean alternate uh, form factor and as well as the overall package okay in this way uh, than using the old floppy drives or even dvds or cds and stuff so it is convenient a lot more you can uh, stuff and a single drive can hold a lot of data and stuff but and also it is mainly portable and lightweight cheap and stuff but other than that using this as a boot drive is a you know it's just not a good idea at all uh, you know and you know i often seen of course when i interact with admins they do have servers deployed which works 247 so you should never ever use this as a boot drive in that type of situation so at least this i can now feel pretty comfortable uh, after i put in my uh, freenas uh, server uh, because uh, it's just like any other hard drive and uh, it, it has no issues in terms of uh, getting overheated and stuff and moreover my drive is around uh, 10 years old so it it can deliver up to 55 mbps uh, speeds or something so i mean megabytes per second having said it is booting up much faster than uh, you know what this uh, usb 3 drive can do and moreover that is a usb uh, 2 enclosure but it kind of boots up much much faster than you know what this type of drives can do so which is why uh, if you go through the video about uh, ditching freenas about uh, an user uh, discussing the same he have a very valid point the reason is this itself is not at all a good idea i'm not sure why you know freenas is uh, uh, putting that as a part of you know their um, documentation see they are not suggesting you to use this i'm just uh, saying that they are just uh, you know mentioning a way that you can use these as a boot drive which itself fundamentally is not a good idea okay so because uh, although you don't have any risk of losing data and stuff but still uh, using this as a boot drive in case if it gets corrupt or something and suddenly the system fails to boot or something happens and then you need to pick an empty media and then uh, you know install free nas and uh, copy that config file load that config file and uh, and then you will get a working uh, system back so it is going to cause your downtime so rather than that the idea of using any any usb drive is uh, a terrible idea in case you have such experiences in the past you can discuss in the comments uh, below
and also in case you have installed with a usb drive closely monitor after watching my video closely monitor your freenas install if you feel anything which is odd as a temporary basis get something like this or else just if you have set up ports better you know use a hard drive or a ssd if you have an m.2 use an ssd or anything like that <laughs> but never use this you know uh, usb drives as a boot drive for freenas it's just a terrible idea and this goes even for pf sense as well even if you use a pf sense router better never use this instead you can use a very cheap um, you know ssd drive for that it is far better it is made to work mainly 247 or even uh, for long time uh, you know server uh, uh, or else uh, you know like in my case a uh, home uh, user uh, situations okay so let it not be 247 even if it is meant for home based usage like me still it is going to be far better than any of this uh, usb drives I'm, I'm not mentioning uh, i'm not about this uh, kingston brand alone okay let it be any brand okay let it be any brand let it be this or this uh, you know transcend or this you know sand disk whatever it is but out of which i found uh, this drive is really odd <laughs> and uh, uh, you know uh, i have not uh, you know faced any issues because i straight away got this brand new one and then i have installed freenas and uh, i started using it as a boot drive but uh, i never turned on the server for more than you know um, uh, you know 10 hours at a stretch so if i turn on the server i may use it for a couple of hours in a week or just uh, around uh, you know half an hour or so and then i i usually shut it down and it is quite rare when i do silvering or else when i do some r things from that to this uh, net gear then i turn on for straight uh, 20 hours or something like that but other than that not more than that so it is not any sort of you know 247 operation but <laughs> it's not also because of that it got you know bad or something which is why i'm saying it's a very very terrible idea to use any usb drives as you know as a you know boot media okay so you can use it for generally installing freenas uh, you know put that iso over here and install the freenas uh, you know use a uh, hr okay some kind of you know image copying software or else you can use uh, even dd command as well if you type it properly okay with caution so that you don't flip you know the source is hard drive to you know destination is this so anyway uh, you can use this as you know that type of you know boot uh, you know drive uh, put your iso and then install freenas but never install freenas itself onto this and that is also going to be applicable even for uh, you know let it be microtech or else uh, pf sense whatever okay so i quickly show my uh, drive you can see there how i have put across the new stuff i i, I shown in couple of videos but not in this context okay well you can see there uh, you know this is the enclosure which i am using this is a you know uh, quite old uh, transcend uh, you know usb enclosure and uh, that has a regular uh, you know laptop hard drive okay so again this hard drive is not anything new again this is almost a 10 year old hard drive but it works fine and i'm closely monitoring it's a smart uh, you know statistics uh, via freenas so, so it is still fine and it works fine uh, since i i have to do this way because i don't have any free setup port uh, hope you can see there so this is uh, connected via this usb 3 directly to the motherboard okay so via this adapter so this is uh, you know fine this works far better than any usb drive so never use something like that but having said this motherboard still have this uh, you know empty m.2 slot so sometime in the future i may get an m.2 uh, drive uh, ssd drive and i may use that as a boot drive or else i can use uh, that as a mirror drive along with this drive so that we can have some amount of you know redundancy so this way at least you can do something like this but never ever use any regular usb drives which is never meant to be used for any long term usage basis it is going to be heated up and it is going to have some type of corruptions and uh, you know data loss kind of situation eventually what you lose is not anything uh, 
precious but it is going to cause you some you know worst down times which is not you know good for a production like environment okay so hope you enjoyed this video in case if you have some issues uh, you experienced in the past let it be freenas or pfsense or any other platform you can uh, discuss in the youtube comments and in case if you have any queries you can discuss as well in the youtube comments okay so thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye